how often have you heard someone just say, you know what you've got to do is you've just got to follow your heart? We hear that so often. Um, I got asked recently um, after a consultation, you know, Shane, what do you feel um, about just following your heart? And I smiled and I said, it's a really, really important question. And I think there's there's multi layers to the answer. You know, it's certainly something you hear so often. I think in a way it can be just banded around very easily and at that level it's just words. I said the other thing to consider is that imagine that you are in a highly abusive relationship and you say to yourself, I kind of know that, but I love the person. Well, in a way, following your heart would not be helpful in those circumstances and within that situation. You know, how often do you hear people say, you know, I know it's bad for me, but I'm just following my heart. So actually, in fact, at that level, following your heart would not be a healthy or good thing to do. And I often say to people, um, when I'm working and consulting in the way that I do, that I say to them at that level within those situations, what you're doing is you're holding yourself prisoner and you're holding yourself in a highly abusive, unhealthy environment and situation and your heart is holding you prisoner and it is binding you and bounding you to a situation that is not healthy or positive or good for you. So the answer of just following your heart is not always the best of advice. Okay, something I really wanted to kind of felt very nudged to share. The other thing to kind of consider is that, you know, the the years of kind of taking the the journeys um that i have and the work that i do is what i've kind of discovered is that there's this kind of center this kind of core around us that sits there you know how often do you hear people say and and they gesture and they say well i feel or even deeper and stronger, they say, I know, and they're gesturing to their kind of core, to their heart and to their solar plexus, you know, which I feel is the core space. It's your heart space and your gut, your instinct, your your knowing all kind of merged together, you know, which is very different to, um, I think, uh, I think maybe, or I feel, or, I know, you know, I really know, you know, there's a clue, okay, there's an indication. So I think there is a layer underneath all of this, you know, and it is, it's about kind of discerning when we're mm, thinking, uh, I think, okay, the gestures there, I think, to I feel or to I know, okay, um, and I think the key to kind of really being able to allow this to work for you in a very powerful way is developing a relationship with self. You know, people say to me, Shane, how does a venturing fit in all, in all of this? And I say, damn right, it fits into all of this because it's the journeys that I've taken outwardly that have taken me on inner journeys into myself. And also the other thing is it strips away all the nonsense and all the rubbish and all the BS. It just strips it right back and what you're left with is authenticity, you know. Um, the environment is raw, wild, authentic. What you're going through is very raw, um, very, very real. Um, and it kind of just strips back those layers um, and places you completely in touch with yourself. Believe me, when you're riding day after day after day in extreme weather and rain, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, and the other thing it does is it forms a very honest and real relationship with yourself, which is what you kind of need to be able to kind of discern, you know, what quite often, um, stops us to get into the bottom of our decisions is 
is is a lack of belief and a lack of trust in ourselves. You know, Spirit have often said a, a job is not here to tell you the answers time and time again actually in fact they become very kind of parental and if you think and you can visualize this um and kind of see this it's a bit like um a parent um seeing a child tie their shoelaces for the first time or a child take those steps for the first time or a child learning to ride a bike for the first time. If you don't just go and wade in there, you kind of stand back and you watch over. And that's the same with spirit. They don't want to always just give us the answers. They want us, they want to lead us to the answers. And sometimes the only way of being able to kind of do that is actually stand back like a parent does and watch over. Um, and maybe give us a bit of a nudge and a shove here and there and what that's about is developing you know a bit like the child that learns to ride the bike for the first time is it it brings about a sense of trust in ourselves and that's at the heart of this you know they want us to trust in themselves you know i've always said wouldn't it be great to have a world where there's a no need for mediums, that we all are able to kind of access what we say, the inner compass. You know, I've got good friends right now, um, very, very close and good friends right now, who are making the most profoundest of life changes for them and their family. Um, and what they're doing is they're, they're really listening and follow their inner compass. And, you know, that inner compass will will once we discover it will align us into our greatest and fullest potentials but how we get there is by really kind of forming an honest relationship with ourselves so we can discern the answer we can discern what our inner compass is telling us and the clues are there i feel i know rather than um i thought you know, um, I thought is a thought, and the thoughts often are kind of fear-based. This is from um, an instinct, and this is from a knowing. You know, there is a difference. So it's about rather than what I think about this, and and sometimes you know, when I say you know I'm kind of working with people, and they say to me, you know, I feel this, um, or I know this, or. Mm, I think, you know, there's an uncertainty and quite often that's the fear talking. I say to them, stop, instead of thinking, I want you to place your hand here on your core, your center, your solar plexus, your heart space, and ask yourself, what do you feel the answer is? And quite often we, we do know, you know, and here's the thing, how that begins to show up. You know, when you tune in and when you separate yourself from your thoughts um, and emotional reactions, you can discover that this kind of core space, this heart and solar plexus, um, has a very clear and a very subtle way of saying yes and no. Um, there's clear signals. You know, for me, it's a sensation of feeling of opening, um, relaxing, like an ease, a grace, or a warmth, or even a moving towards the, the decision or, or, or the answer. Um, and that's a yes. You know, it has that opening, that feeling of opening. Or there's a, a feeling of sensation of withdrawing, or of dread, or a sinking, a pulling back a tensing up and that's a feeling of no so place yourself in front of one of your decisions right now take a nice deep cleansing breath and ask yourself should i or should i not if it's a yes or no question and listen to those kind of responses in self okay and and you know it's about learning to kind of trust and when you kind of are here and you're unsure is because you're not trusting in yourself or you've not developed that relationship within yourself it's a bit like the child learning to ride a bike 
is once the child trusts in themselves, they just go and ride that bike. Um, but it's about trusting in ourselves. You know, that's the key. Um, as I say, you know, I've taken those outer journeys and what they've done is they fostered a relationship with self and I've got to know who I am. I've been able to then kind of drop into that place of understanding the difference between here, here and here, which is probably why I love adventuring because it gets you out of your head and it gets you into your body, um, especially the adventure cycling. Um, and you begin to kind of listen to that space that's underneath it's there inside of you um you know and you begin to trust the response um there's um, uh, a book that i recently i was going to find it now um there's a book that i recently um come across um that someone has spoke to me about um, here it is. It's the biology of belief, okay, from a gentleman called Bruce Lipton. And he talks about how the cells are either in defense mode or in growth mode. And I think there's there's something going on with that. So when you place yourself in front of a situation, if you've got that pulling back, it's almost as if the whole biology within the body is saying to you, no it's it's knowing that it's not right for you or it's knowing that that's not a good outcome or knowing it's not the best path to walk or if there's a feeling of opening that's that that's a feeling of magnetizing or drawing together so maybe there's something absolutely we yet to discover that's hardwired on a on a kind of physiology on a biology level that knows there's a knowing in there and if you think about we're about 60% water um maybe you know the, there's there's a heightened even intelligence in there who knows science is yet to take us there more fully but i think there's something going on in there if we can only but listen to to what we feel you know as i say quite often in people gesture um the signs are there you know it's it's listening to those subtle signals and the only way that you begin to really identify those subtle signals is forming a relationship with self you know and the other thing i i like about all of this is that it strips away the complication it's a yes or no and it's it's listening to the feeling rather than the thought and it's taking yourself into the feeling rather than the thought um and that kind of simplifies it and i think there's something very special about that especially in this day and age um you know it's good um and strong simply because i'm kind of listening um and i'm stripping away that that kind of complication the other thing to consider is the more honest you become the more a with yourself the more honest you become with yourself the more authentic you become with yourself the easier it is to then to kind of have those honest answers given to you because sometimes you know what you think you may want or what you think you you need may be different to what you actually need um, and then it kind of strips away that expectation of outcome, you know. Um, but what begins to happen is you begin to align. You begin to align your world. And recently I've kind of wrote about that on um, our Facebook page, Spirit Meets Venture. So there's a few thoughts there. I'm also going to drop in um, some other videos that i think are going to be really helpful which is clear signals knowing the answer it's done many years ago um but i think that with this video and that video you're going to have some very strong resources and also intuition and if you look at intuition really we're translating that to inner teacher so i'll put those link those links in there as well those of you who are watching this on facebook you'll find a whole wealth of resources on our YouTube channel and those of you that are watching this on YouTube you can find all their daily content um, and, and my thoughts um, on a day-to-day -day level over on our Facebook page which is Spirit Meets Adventure 
all links will be found in the video so once again think about um, what we said about following your heart and also next time you're in front of a decision what do you feel rather than what you think is it coming from feeling or is it coming from knowing or are you um if you're um that is fear fear is not a bad thing fear is designed in a way to keep us safe but sometimes what we need to do is kind of meet that fear look at it eye to eye and as soon as we do we begin to dissolve its hold that he has over us I remember hearing bear grill say that um, after his injury that had many 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 years ago where he really damaged his back of um, on a parachute jump he said believe me every time I go to jump out of an aircraft I am full of fear however I don't allow it to control me there you go guys a few thoughts I'll leave that with you as always a real pleasure see you all soon bye bye